those, those, those uh, Sounds good. very distinctive the eyes. Some jumping. Maybe There's a little bit of uh, they've been jumping forward like 50 meters. Competing okay. hypotheses. Some of the earlier reports. So these spe Thanks. species were actually was first collected All by, right, Charles, video. See this? by the Challenger. Bright-eyed, bushy-tailed fish here. Yes, yeah, so sir. It was collected you know, about 200 years ago for the first time, and some of the earlier. Go for that. If you want to start in, I'll some keep of the early down. reports of this center view. Um, where people actually looked at this in their microscope and did dissections, they reported that the optic nerve of these uh, fishes were uh, was missing altogether, uh, and so the idea then, uh, or some people speculated that those eyes don't pick up light, but actually produce light. Uh, some later studies doing some more refined histology actually find a found an optic nerve. There are some other modifications. This fish actually doesn't have an iris. And, uh, but there's still some speculation about whether this uh, fish actually uses the eyes to produce light and not just sense light. So uh, yeah, pilot. Uh, Whenever you're ready, and once we get it maybe in center view, if we could t turn off the light for, for, I think if we can zoom out a little bit so we make sure that we have the fish in frame. Yeah, we're going to, I'll set down here so that the vehicle's stationary with its center view, so that way we know we're looking at it and don't lose it. And I'll get nice and close. These Our cameras are not terribly low light sensitive so I'll make sure I'm close enough that if it is making any light we'll see it. Excellent, thanks pilot. It's very sandy, muddy bottom. Stand by. So yeah, this seems like a good opportunity. Our RV team has just uh, completed a shift so we'll, we'll conduct a, a little uh, experiment because uh, this is something that in the, in the literature hadn't, uh, there's a couple of Competing hypotheses that have been postul postulated about these eyes. Okay, co pilot, you got. Are you with me? I'm here with you, pilot. Great. Let's, uh, uh, video, let's do like. Uh, a little bit less than that, just to make sure that it stays in frame with the lights out. Like that, it's perfect. Okay, I'm going to try to hold this. Okay. We're going to turn out all the lights on D2. All right. And see if this is uh, eye sockets Do you want glow. me to turn off my lights as well? Uh, we'll start with mine, but uh, that might be necessary. Okay. Uh, you can work with the watch lead on that. All right. Video, are you ready for us to turn out the lights here? We're ready. Okay, so powering off um, all the lights on the vehicle. All lights are off on your vehicle. Iris is wide open. Zero dB gain. And uh, video, see what we can do to get... Three dB gain. I think we're yeah, seeing can, ambient light yeah, you from... you see the light pool from Sirius in our MINIF cams. Roger. Uh, so you might have to go dark. All right. On that as well, yep. Everything off. Okay. So let's uh, wait and see. Total I eclipse have here. Plus 18 uh, dB we'll of uh, gain. Seconds. Um, I don't seem to be seeing. So again, pilots have, have let us know that the the cameras are not particularly good with, with really darkened, uh, but I, I don't seem to see anything. Uh, but still very valuable information because this is something that uh, I've seen in several publications about uh, uh, about those light, about those uh, eyes. So yeah, the, the idea is that this fish was perhaps using those 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 eyes to create light and then attract prey. That's and, on uh, 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 But I don't see, think to see it. Is. It's probably not getting down this far. That's the boxes on D2. We're not seeing them. Okay, 
Watch lead, how much longer would you like to hang out like this? No, I think I think we're okay, yeah, so that Okay. Hold on, give video a second to get ready for all the lights coming. Yeah, I'm ready. Thank you so much for uh, bringing back up the serious lights. Perfect. Okay, have you right there. So, uh, There's the glow from the serious yeah, lights. Dr. Ken Sulak had uh, alerted us okay. to this potential. Uh, Start with the uppers. Uh, very just interesting so we get an idea. Uh, way of actually yep. uh, being able to solve uh, a mystery. Okay. And that was the mystery of that. Uh, then. So they use those lights of those eyes. Which and sonar went crazy? Sonar. Oh, I didn't notice. Oh, I wasn't looking at it. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah. Appreciate that, uh, pilots. Okay. Those are the mains. And I suppose, just for the sake of argument, if if the eyes could bioluminesce, this may be something that the fish could turn on and off, or you know, wouldn't have on at all times. So, so don't some very valuable information here. Those but the lower swing arm. Yep. But, uh, and then you can turn on the poles too, but the light bar turns on those. Very so interesting experiment. Front two lights. Yeah. So the poles are good. So yeah, as I mentioned, the so this, this fish is, is quite abundant, and they were like first the caught in trawls by the Challenger, the that's uh, uh, for the uh, first so real yeah. oceanographic vessel that went around right. the world and sampled the deep depths and uh, went co collected samples now to 3,000 right. meters and collected a, a bunch of these uh, specimens that were then used to describe the species. And Off the folks go. Uh, actually looked at these specimens in their microscopes and dissections, and some of the earlier dissections suggested that the optic nerve was missing altogether.